All right, welcome back to uh, another episode of our community challenge number one tutorial series. I'm Petey from Bergsdor Arcade at bergsdorarcade.com, as I'm sure everyone probably recognizes my voice by now. Uh, anyway, the next script I want to work on is the one that controls how many lives we have displayed. And it works pretty close to the same way as our player score works. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that script. So create another C sharp script, and I'm just going to call this lives. And we'll open this up in Mono Develop and change the names there. Now, by default, I want to have some sort of value for the max amount of lives that you start with, or at least the starting lives. And I will make this public just to start off with, just because I want to be able to see it in the inspector. Uh, but as always, usually part, as part of the final cleanup, I go through and uh, make the majority of these private and use setters and getters. But anyway, this will be of type int and... I'm just going to call it starting lives and I'm just going to have it be equal to three and public int uh, current lives uh, I'm just going to start that off at zero well no let's start it off at three whatever the uh, starting lives part is Oh, we actually don't have to start it off at anything. We can actually put it down in the start down here. So we'll say current lives is equal to starting lives. Uh, that way there, if we do decide to change you know, what our starting lives is, we don't actually have to change the current lives. Uh, we're going to want to be able to, again, update the, the display. So I'm going to save this off. I'm going to come in, uh, select our lives, our little display up here. I just drag and drop that on. And again, I want to get a reference to the text up here and have it display properly. And I'm actually going to go in and change the text up here. And I'm just going to put it to five just so it looks different so we know that it actually does work. Uh, I'm going to come into our update. And just like before, for now, I'm just going to grab the GUI text that's attached here and we'll grab the text property of it and we're going to set that to equal some string and current lives and I'm just going to say uh, lives colon and in this case we don't actually have to convert this to a string because the the plus sign when we're concatenating two strings together it automatically does it for us. Uh, if you really want to get into good practice you should maybe just you know use the dot to string anyway uh, but uh, I'd recommend actually using the string format go ahead and look it up we've used it a few times in a couple other videos uh, but now when we start this up we'll notice that you know it goes to three and as before we'll go to the ball script and we'll say uh, on the collision enter uh, we're going to grab the lives dot and I actually did not make a static here and I'm going to make the current live static I uh, just so I can always get the you know current lives and we'll go back into the ball script so dot current lives and I'm just going to take one away every time it bounces. Now we'll need some sort of game master script where you know you run out of lives and the game ends. Uh, but we'll get to that. Uh, right now we just actually want to watch the lives here. You know everything just keeps decreasing. And that's pretty much all we want to do here. I do not want to put any functionality into the live script where if it you know reaches zero uh, then it ends the game. I actually want a different script that uh, checks that for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove this line. Uh, one quick last look at the live script, and as always, you know, make sure you put your comments up there. Uh, I'm going to be filling these in behind the scenes, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, at least for now, for a good start on our live script. And let's go on and move on to the next one. Uh, which I guess is going to be block. I don't think we've done block yet. So we'll do block next. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.